Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Boruto anime review. This one's going to be for episode 265. Uh, once again, an episode where I don't really feel there's all that much to say about it. Kind of the same thing I've been saying for the last couple of weeks. This arc, I think, is very fun. But so far, it's not been super consequential or like it feels very important. I think it has the opportunity to get there eventually because I think the more serious aspect of like the K arc and the whole assassination thing, whatever they decide to do with that, whenever they like activate that plot point, I think will be good when it happens. It's just we haven't really got much of it. And I think the episodes probably would be a little bit better if they just sprinkled in a little bit of setup for that more so than what they've actually been doing. This episode obviously was just focused on like a practical training exercise. So it was cool to see them sort of out of the classroom and um, being a little bit more active. But obviously they're not doing anything so crazy that it's um, like feels like super important for any of the characters. It's more, okay, here's some unusual teams. So Kawaki gets paired up with characters he hasn't really interacted with. He's not on the same team as K. So the, the whole episode is pretty much about Kawaki watching from the sidelines and sort of having to rely on Himawari to be the one to protect K because they're, they're both in on the mission uh, together. They have like a side plot of like one of the classmates, the the sweet maker guy, um, him wanting to speak to Kay and there being a little bit of a kind of, oh, why does he want to do that? But that just amounts to, by the end of the episode, like, okay, he wanted her to try the sweets and he ends up along the way um, really respecting Kawaki because Kawaki represents what he kind of doesn't have like the ability to just sort of stand up to something or just go ahead with something without um you know being afraid of it and um, so you know th they're dealing with these rather sort of simple to the point some of them are good you know character arcs um the episodes are de the focus of these ones is definitely more on just the kind of funny interaction moments like throughout the whole this whole episode the whole gag of Kawaki is so focused on trying to protect K that he's basically not putting any attention or care into his own team and they are getting more and more frustrated with him because of that and of course he's not going to get angry at other kids on his team so he just sort of has to take the uh, the kind of beatings basically that they give him because of that and um, I thought they did this quite well in terms of like it built up to the end and the the proper you know physical activity one where Kawaki can succeed at he just blitzes it and I suppose gets them a decent position in the in the competition but of course it's Kay and, and Himawari's team that actually ends up uh, winning um, in the middle of this, there is a little bit of an action sequence with a bear where um, Kay sort of like trips, Himawari tries to protect her, but the bear nearly gets them. Uh, the, the teacher, Hana, uh, comes in and she can fend off the bear to a certain degree, but she can't do enough sort of like damage to make it full on retreat. So we see like some applications of wind style that are actually quite good, but in the end, she's just forcing it back. Uh, and she doesn't really have anything to actually like kind of defeat it with. It's a little bit of an interesting one as like an Avatar fan and that it, it kind of played on the the whole bitter work thing of like um, just kind of redirecting the, the bear with the, the, the wind jutsu wasn't enough. You need more of a blunt instrument to deal with this situation here. Um, and that's where Kawaki comes in and just kind of obliterates the bear Um in a, in a pretty devastating display and that's what gets the the sweet maker boy on his side to the point where he wants to be trained by Kawaki basically and um, a little bit of a moment where like Kawaki is kind of quite critical of the teacher for not being able to defeat a bear but Himawari just sort of points out that like in a way like the, the the strength doesn't necessarily matter she put herself on the line for her students and that makes her a good teacher and I suppose it's just kind of Kawaki having to, to realize the, the importance of that overall. Um, in terms of like setup for anything important, I, I, I don't think this episode in particular really uh, had much going on uh, in that way. Um, 
it's I think they're doing the character interactions really well but I definitely want to see more of like what is the importance of this arc and then to bring some of that uh, more out because I understand like people are getting frustrated that we've been in you know basically non-manga adaptation arcs for quite a while and when they're so feeling unimportant like this I understand why some people get very very frustrated I think this is on the more fun end of things where like I appreciate for instance that like Borto just like wasn't in this episode because we don't need to deal with Borto in episodes like this but they're also I don't think quite doing enough with a lot of the other children to really make them stand out all that much ultimately I'm kind of like okay Kawaki's getting some development here having some more light-hearted content like on his own away from the obvious characters that he interacts with, like Naruto, Boruto, um, Himawari getting a little bit more of a chance to shine so we can sort of see where her skill level is, which is actually really, really good. Um, even though Kei was the leader, it seems like Himawari was actually like the star of that team, which was nice to see. Um, uh, Kei, of course, there's going to be some sort of a plot that they bring into play, like eventually with her, with the whole setup that they've had here. Um, beyond that, I, I'm not actually sure necessarily what they're going to go for. Um, next episode does look like it's going to be a little bit of an improvement. It looks like um, Himawari is going to get captured along with the girl who is the daughter of the movie star. Um, who's sort of like the, the mean girl in class. So that will be, I guess, uh, her character development episode. Um, and I guess it makes sense. They're the two sort of... But there's sort of three celebrities in class um, and what's happened in the episode so far is that Kei as a princess and kind of people realizing oh Himawari is like the Hokage's daughter have ended up outshining the movie star daughter so I think uh, the movie star daughter is going to get some uh, development in the next episode because they get kidnapped together and I guess it's going to be Kawaki and Kei's I guess Kei's going to be involved somehow in trying to find them so i think that that could be good is it directly related to k i'm not really sure but we'll, we'll see how far it goes I, again i don't really keep track too much about what the upcoming episodes are but it looks like we're going to be here for quite a few more episodes um because they really haven't got into any sort of a is there an assassination plot coming are we going to address and give us more details on where K is from and what the deal is with that or is she just here for some fun in school and there isn't actually anything that serious going on in the background I don't know um but I think that's basically everything I want to talk about with this episode so again another one of these episodes that's fun enjoyable but it probably could use just a little bit more uh, substance but it is better than certain episodes of uh, Borto we get from time to time I, I still am enjoying this arc but you know if this goes on like this exactly for too long it is going to get frustrating so in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on this episode otherwise that's been the video thanks for watching and bye